hello viewers you're welcome to the quantity surveying academy so i have a bill of quantity here which i prepared for a client before now and also here with me is a floor plan this floor plan was sent to me by one of my students actually had a contract with her um, i'm going to see how we can make her into a professional quantity surveyor who has a very good knowledge on the aspect of preparing a bill of quantity in the space of two months if you are interested in joining this particular section this teaching section that i'm going to be hosting for the next two months with um classes that will be held at least once a week then you should either leave a message in the comment box or try to reach out to me via our email and it's going to go for a token of 15,000 naira per month which is equivalent to about 36 dollars so if you are interested in joining this section as much as you can see what as much as you, can, you are viewing this video between now and the, the, the weekend just try to make sure you contact this academy through our email i believe we can find our email i'm going to be linking the email at the comment section so you can just scroll down to the comment section i'm sorry scroll down to the description and you would find the email or you can message me via my whatsapp number which i'm going to be leaving on the description um, column you can message me and then i would let you know how we can go about it but notwithstanding we are still going i'm going to be updating the progress of whatsoever we will be, we'll be doing with this particular student i'll be updating the progress at least every week so that every other members of this academy can see how fast these particular students are growing so if you are interested i'm going to be leaving the slot for just 10 people at most i will take 15 so you have to hurry up and contact me to be part of this particular program so leave a message in my email or give me a message send me a message via my whatsapp number that you can see at the description in the description section so you can just message me and um you would get to get a confirmation or sorry not just a confirmation you get to understand how you can enroll for this particular program so this is what is going to happen this is a floor plan and this floor plan we have a column a column that is not actually a regular um size based column so we have one of these this, this is a design pillar for the front elevation and then if i scroll down we can see the section of the plan and also the foundation detail these are similar stuff you'll be presented with if you are asked to prepare a bill of quantity so it is still not a big challenge if we make use of this to work on it so i'm going to be assessing every student i'm not precisely going to be working on it directly each student that will be enrolling for this program will be the ones to work on it and then i would carry out corrections where necessary and we can see how the students will grow from there so if you are not able to enroll for this program or when the 15 um the 15 number of student mark has reached i would stop any form of enrollment and then probably after i'm done with this set of students in the next two months then we can now start up enrollment for another particular class so make sure you hurry up and contact us so that you can enroll for this program and this is the elevation of the structure a lot of you have been talking about getting a complicated roof plan this is one if you're able to measure this kind of roof plan then you should be able to measure any form of roof plan and we are going to be tackle we, we are going to tackle this particular method of and uh, this particular aspect of measurement at the cost of this two month um program so make sure you join this program as fast as possible now what i have here is bsmm4 already at the uh, sorry currently the bsmm4 have been revised but this is the first released bsmm4 sorry for scrolling this long let me just show you the front page so this is the front page bsmm4 building an engineering standard method of measurement i know if you're in the uk you'll be using nrm2 but this is what we use here in nigeria and in some african countries they still make use of smm7 which is very uh, pretty much outdated but notwithstanding the method of measurement for 
sorry the rules that is governing most of this measurement are similar it's just that sometimes reviews comes into most of these rules i would not scroll down if you need this particular file i'm going to um link i'm going to put a link in the description box where you can just click and get access to downloading it so i'm going to do that and in my subsequent videos i'll ensure i leave links so i'll be keeping record of all my taking off and i'll be leaving links where you can go to our official website the qs academia to download all those um materials if you need them so just stay tuned we are, we are advancing what we are doing on this channel so that we can help you grow as fast as possible so that is basically what we are going to be doing and at the cost of this particular taking off i'm going to be introducing this student to the use of excel and this is an excel spreadsheet as you can see this spreadsheet is empty so i'm going to teach the students within the course of these two months how they can make use or utilize this excel and prepare their own templates how they can prepare their own templates of um, bill of quantity and at the end of the day they will be able to export that template into producing a boq that looks like this in the pdf format so we are going to be learning a lot we're going to be learning excel at the course of these two months and we are going to carry out the entire measurement so if you can measure this particular plan you can measure everything in this particular plan and produce your bill of quantity as i'll be teaching in the next two months that is for the 15 students that will enroll and also for other students that are unable to enroll that will be seeing the progress videos then you should be able to measure for any kind of plan that you would be given so that is a get go of everything we need to know so based on this particular plan my student have worked on it i've gone through her taking off and this is it she's done very well excellently well to take off for this um this this particular plan i've just shown you so the only loophole is the fact that i would like to point out whenever you have a wardrobe in a room like this as you can see this area here this area here is a wardrobe in this bedroom now wardrobe uh sometimes have block work but the thing is the block work for wardrobe do not always start from substructure so this projection here this projection that was labeled as v2 should not be labeled as v2 the projection should be left untouched except when measuring in superstructure so in substructure you don't have to measure this projection i know that my student has done well but i understand the fact that i didn't mention this in my previous video and i hope you take note of it and also the subsequent student that will be joining this particular um, exercise i hope they take care of it they, they, they take note of this as well and for every one of you watching this video please take note that in substructural level we usually do not take off for or we usually do not measure this particular projection for wardrobe except when you are measuring in superstructure so virtually everything she did following the procedures are taught are okay but this method of carrying out measurements as we can see this is taking off uh, taking off for substructural work so we are start with site preparation we went down to um, topsoil excavation retaining topsoil and much more if I continue you will be able to see all the taking off that she has done this is trench excavation she did justice to it but the truth of the matter is in reality as a professional this time around this program is actually preparing professional for what they'll be seeing in the real world what i've been doing so far i'm basically meant for students that are still in school you know you can still use this exact knowledge in your place of work but there are shortcuts to doing this thing in professional practice you don't have to spend much of your time writing um like this so look at this you don't have to spend much of your time writing all these descriptions and all these things in the next um, class we'll be holding i'm going to be explaining the shortest way of working on this so most of these things most of these things 
you don't necessarily need to do them on paper you can just use a calculator you press them and then you put down your final values so when we are when we're holding our next class i'll be showing you the shortest way of preparing your bill of quantity so take note if you are practicing if you are practicing as a quantity surveyor you don't need to be doing all these descriptions you don't need to be there are a lot of things you don't need to be writing down you just need to go straight to the point this is meant for students in school where you'll be writing an exam to test your competence in carrying out taking off so that is another observation i'm making here just take note of that it means that when you are measuring all these items leveling and compacting network you don't stress yourself doing most of these things and also i'm going to be showing us the shortest way of carrying out all this deduction and addition without getting confused at the cost of this program so make sure you subscribe to this channel and like our videos so that when we release the next series on this aspect of learning how to carry out your bill of quantity just within two months irrespective of whether you are a novice whether you are new to this to even shock you this student of mine that i'm talking about is someone that is into the built environment but is intending to re-strategize and convert into becoming a QS and you can imagine the fact that I'm prepared to make sure that this student is equipped with the right knowledge of taking up and preparing preparation of bill of quantity in just two months and after that we can now move to other aspects of quantity surveying and um, practice and in no distant time this person will be working as a full-time professional so if you're interested in this make sure you reach out to me as fast as possible by sending me a message on my whatsapp as i'm linking down in the description or send me a message via my email and i will give you a reply right away and when the number of um, students i need which is 15 is completed then i would notify you that we can no longer take in students and for the student that will be lucky to join the class i would make sure i do my best to see how well you can be in the aspect of measurement so um that being said i hope you enjoyed everything you've seen so far don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also share our videos with every other person that you can think of and in our next class we are going to be handling everything that has to do with substructure and while we are working on substructure immediately we are done with substructure we'll be transferring into the bill of quantity so that's how we do it we do direct billing we measure and transfer to the bill of quantity so on that note i'm going to be releasing a template a complete template that we'll be creating by ourselves i'm going to release it in due time for students that would need it so that at least they can also practice along with us even if they are not directly enrolled into the program for those that are enrolled in the program the benefit is the fact that you would have access to asking questions whenever you are not clear about a particular point and i am entitled to go back and re-emphasize on those points until you are able to understand every single thing and please i beg of you to join our membership i reduced the price to as low as 600 naira so if you haven't done so please make sure you go and do so join our membership i'm a student like you are and i beg of you to support me i'm in school and i'm still putting in effort to make sure i help you grow in this particular profession the least you could do is to subscribe to this channel and also support our membership i'm not compelling you to do so but i'm begging you to support me either here on youtube or you can do so for three dollar on our patreon account which i'm going to be linking down in the description box thank you for your time i hope you enjoyed this video have a nice day